Uh, hey everybody, just doing a review for this uh, Ugreen Nexode Pro 65 watt charger. Um, you know, this is a part of Ugreen's new line of chargers, the Nexode Pro series. And so just taking a look at the box that the uh, charger comes in. Um, yeah, it's uh, basically the same as any other uh, Ugreen packaging. Uh, right, right over here at the back, it does give you some information about the charger. Um, over on this side, it, is, it does give you the specifications. And what's included in the box is the charger itself, of course, user instruction and the uh, manual right over here. Uh, I think this one tells you the power allocation. Um, I think over on this side, yeah, right over here. Um, so yeah, as, as I mentioned before, it is a 65 watt uh, charger. Um, and so it, it tells you the power allocation when you're charging a single device at a time. Uh, C1 and C2 are able to output 65 watts of power delivery right there. And the type A port is able to output 22.5 watts when charging a single device. And then we head on over to dual port charging, um, 45 watts and 20 watts from C1 and C2, or 45 watts and 18 watts from C1 and the Type A port. And right over here, as you can see, if you're charging from um, either C2 or the Type A port, uh, you're going to be getting a 15 watt output. And uh, when it comes to three port charging, the uh, C1 port will output 45 watts, and the C2 and the Type A port will will share a 15 watt output. So yeah, I'm um, going to be testing that out in this review. Uh, just taking a look at the charger itself. This is a very tiny charger. Um, let me just get something to compare. All right, so yeah, just back with a Coke can right over here. Um, yeah, so as you can see, this charger is tiny. Uh, 65 watts coming from this tiny charger is uh, really convenient because, you know, it's not going to take up much space. And also, it's pretty lightweight. I'm um, not too sure how much it weighs, but it is lightweight. I can tell you that much. Um, and so, yeah, just taking a look at the charger, it does have the, you know, charging ports over on this side, C1 and C2, and the Type-A port. And uh, when it comes to charging three devices at the same time, you're definitely going to want to have, um, you know, the device that you want charging the fastest to be plugged into the uh, Type-C1 port. And uh, over on this side, it just tells you 65, 65 watts uh, Nexo Pro. Um, it does have a foldable uh, AC plug right there. And uh, that's really about it. <laughs> Over on this side, it, it does give you the specifications once again. The model for this one specifically is, as you can see, X755. Uh, and uh, yeah, let me just get uh, straight into testing it out, to be honest. This is going to be a pretty quick video. Um, nothing too complicated about this. I know I usually do have my um, River 2 power station, um, but I think I'm just going to actually uh, use this. Uh, watt meter this time around because I think it's going to give me a more accurate reading on the wattage output that this charger is going to have uh, But yeah, we'll see um, Okay, it's got to lay down like that I guess not much of a choice right there to see how much uh, power I'm able to output from the C1 port when charging a single device uh, which should be uh, 65 watts uh, 62 watts right there is uh, what's um, happening on the uh, power bank screen and the watt meter is reading about 71 watts right there. Let me just test out the C2 port. Uh, I should get the same results because the C2 port is also able to output 65 watts when charging a single device. Basically the same thing, 62 watts and 71 watts is on the screen for the watt meter. Okay. And then, um, well, for the Type A port, I'm not going to really, I'm not going to test that out um, for charging a single device because in order to uh, use the full 22.5 watts, the device that you're charging needs to have um, the correct protocol. But uh, let me just go ahead and um, charge one device from the C1 port and then another device from the C2 port. Okay, uh, so yeah, right over here, um, I am charging uh, this uh, RAV power, power bank um, from the C1 one port and I've got it charging at about 43 watts. Um, I've got this uh, Ugreen power bank charging from the C2 port on the Ugreen charger and it's charging at about 20 watts. And I think that fits the power allocation that, that happens when you're charging two devices at the same time. Uh, yes, it does, uh, 45 watts and 20 watts right there. And uh, one other device that I wanna charge is gonna be my um, Galaxy Note 9. And I'm gonna be charging that from the type A port. All right, and so yeah, back uh, with charging uh, three devices at the same time from the uh, 65 watt Nexo uh, Pro uh, charger. Um, you know, once again, I do have my RAV power power bank charging from the C1 port. Uh, char it's charging at about 43 watts. And uh, currently, um, 
the uh, C2 and E-Type A port are sharing 15 watts between each other. And uh, I, I've got my uh, Ugreen power bank charging at about 10 watts right there. It's uh, fluctuating quite a bit in uh, its charging speed. And I've got my Note 9 uh, charging from the Type A port. And uh, so I assume that uh, what's happening is that the you know you green, that the U Green power bank is charging at 10 watts, like it says on the watt meter, and my Note 9 is likely charging at only um, five watts because you know that's what's being shared between the uh, C C2 and the Type A port. And uh, yeah, uh, and the total uh, wattage output that's happening uh, with the uh, U Green charger uh, seems to be uh, 71 watts. But uh, yeah, anyways, um, this charger works how it's supposed to. Um, at least at my testing, uh, the power allocation works how it's, how it's uh, um, written in the manual. Um, a charger like this is going to be useful for uh, charging, um, you know, a laptop while you also want to charge, uh, you know, two smartphones at the same time because you are still able to uh, use 45 watts from C1 even when you're charging three devices at the same time. However, um, if you want, you know, to take advantage of the full power of this charger, uh, you would charge a single device from either C1 or C2 to make full use of the 65 watts that the charger has to offer. Um, I will have a link to the uh, product page for this charger down in the description below. And I will also have a link to the review article over at chargerharbor.com in case you want to read a review article. And I will see you all on the next video. All right. Goodbye.